This is Go on Shaw TV. I'm your host, Mike Valente. Our tour of the West End continues here at the Goodwill Social Club now. Music, coffee, pizza, and beer. You can find it here. I'm joined by Tim, who's a co-owner of the Goodwill. Tim, uh, I'm curious. It's now been two years that the Goodwill has been here on Portage Avenue in the West End. Uh, what was the passion to open up a place like this here in the West End specifically? Uh, yeah, well, when we got together to open this place, we wanted it to be an inclusive space where people could come and hang out, see live music in the evenings, but also have a sort of hangout element to it. Whereas some uh, bars that have live music are almost just event based where people come in, they see a band, they leave. We want it to really be a part of the community and that's why we are a coffee shop by day. I'm drinking some of our coffee right now that's and it's right. great. Yeah. Um, and so we wanted it to be a, a space where people could just come hang out. Uh, we're near the university so we get lots of students coming in to, uh, to study. People stop in for their coffee. Uh, and so yeah, more than just music, we wanted to be a fixture, a hangout in the community. Is there a way we can define what the music scene in Winnipeg is exactly like compared to other cities? We always hear about we have such a groundbreaking music scene. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's tough to define specifically, but what I would say is that because we're sort of a medium-sized uh, music scene, we have a lot of everything, and there's a lot of sort of cross-pollination of scenes. Like, we'll have shows here where there's rappers and metal bands playing on the same night, or spoken word followed by uh, punk rock, mm -hmm. uh, or indie rock shows, uh, you know, along with whatever. Um, and so because we have that sort of in-between size, we get a lot of cross-pollination, people of different genres playing with each other and being friends with each other, band members sort of crossing over into other bands. And I think that's one of the things that makes our music scene uh, unique is that sort of uh, crossing over and, and camaraderie between bands. There isn't really a fragmented scene here. Everyone's kind of on the same scene right. uh, and on the same team. Yeah. Uh, and mainly because we are sort of medium-sized, you know, we don't we don't have enough bands and musicians to sort of for there to be like beef or competition or any sort of fragmentation like that. It's much more inclusive. Right. Yeah, and more to that point. Speaking of the size of the city itself, we always hear about that mass exodus of people who leave for Toronto or Vancouver on the west coast. So was opening up the Goodwill kind of a thing saying like, hey, let's keep people here because we do have quite the music scene ourselves. Yeah, well, partly that, but more so, I think that would be sort of a secondary cause of, of, okay. of what, we're, what we wanted to do, because what we wanted to do was just have a, a, a good place for yeah. people to play. We wanted to have a, the right size room, like we're 200 capacity, so you can have medium sized shows in here. We wanted it to sound really good. We wanted it to have good sight lines, s bigger than some venues, smaller than some venues. We wanted to do what we do really well and sort of uh, enable the music scene to, to do what it's going to do within our space and sort of grow organically rather than trying to force anything. Um, and if that means that more people are if we're one little piece of the puzzle of more people wanting to stay here, then great. And if right. other people, you know, want to move away for work or, you know, to, to take their band to the next level or whatever, that's fine. But at least they won't be leaving because of a lack of spaces to right. play because we sort of, we, we did our part. Yes. <laughs> well, over the last few years, this certainly has become one of the go-to uh, venues for music in this city. So congratulations on that. Um, in terms of some of the highlights, maybe over the last two years, in terms of people who have performed on this stage, anything come to mind? Uh, wow, geez. You know, when, when you're doing uh, sort of live performances uh, seven days a week, there's, there's so many uh, things. When we... Uh, when we celebrated our one-year anniversary, we had a, uh, the Constantines come and play here, who are a big Toronto band who were sort of had reformed at that point. Yeah. And they were maybe a bit too big for our venue. We sort of had people climbing up the walls and, and lining out the door to, to get in. But uh, that, that was definitely a highlight for me, because I love that band. It was just great to see them. And the one thing that bands really like about playing here is how intimate it is. You know, other venues, the stage might be higher or set back or farther away. Uh, when when you see a show here at the Goodwill, you can get right up and close, and there's there's no sort of disconnect between performer and audience. It's right there. It's very immediate, um, and I think you know fans and uh, bands really like that because the lines of communication are, are right there, open between the crowd uh, and and the band, and you get that immediate sort of uh, energy. Yeah. 
when bands aren't performing on that stage, you're also up there sometimes too as a DJ, DJ co-op. You've been a DJ for many years. What's it like, you know, having a party here in your own house now? It's it's really good, although they still make me pay for my drinks. So, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got to talk to my partners about that, get get something going. But uh, yeah, yeah it, it is cool and it, it's fun. You know, I mean, it, it's it's obvious for me as a, a, a small partner in this endeavor and, and one of the the owners. Uh, it, there's a great sense of pride when I play here because I know, you know, I know how much work we went we put into both get it going and to keep it running. Mm -hmm. And we feel, uh, you know, when I'm playing, I feel very proud when I look out and I can see, oh, you know, there's the bar we built, there's the people that we hired doing an yeah. amazing job behind the bar. And I think because those of us who are owners here are also sort of involved in the music and creative community, right. a lot of our friends and people that we know and work with in creative endeavors will come in. And so there's a sense of ownership from the fans as well. Yes. You know, people will come in and be like, oh, this is great, you know, like Co-op and Honeycutter playing, and they started this bar, and, and we know them, and, and we feel very much yes. connected as well. So the fans kind of have, uh, fans if I can say that, the people, yeah. the patrons who come That's here, right. they, have got a, fans. <laughs> they, have a, they have a sense of ownership as well. So yeah. it's a really strong sense of, uh, of community and togetherness. Um, and that just makes for, you yeah. know, positive vibes at, at, yeah. uh, at the event. A lot of marketing expertise, a lot of promotion experience, obviously. Is it, it's nine of you guys that own this place? Yes. Co-own it? Yeah. So how, like, did you all know each other before this, or how did you come together? Yeah, we all knew each other, um, <clears throat> and we just sort of, um, it just kind of came together organically. Yeah. You know, we all have, uh, we all had our superpowers. Uh, Abby, who is our, our daytime guy and the, the, the man who does the coffee here, he was the coffee expert, and we knew that uh, if we wanted to have good coffee, we wanted yeah. to have Abby, and so and so we have Abby. And we yeah. have guys on our team who are very good at marketing, people on our team who know the live music side of things, people on my team who know um, the DJ, dance party, hip hop side of things. Yeah. And so, yeah, we all knew each other, and we all knew that we had something to contribute uh, to sort of make this place uh, as versatile as it is. Yes, versatile, and if the goal was to create a lovely hangout for people, this feels like home whenever I come here, because there's such great music here all the time. We appreciate your time, Tim. Thanks very much. You're watching Go on Shaw TV, and guess what? The show continues.